Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can stop OneDrive backup on Windows 11. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on the desktop on my computer and this is how the homepage looks like. So basically guys, right now, if you want to stop the backup on uh, Windows 11, first of all, go ahead and open File Explorer or you can just click on start and then search for file explorer right here. If you don't find it, just go to the search bar and then type it. Then once you find this, go ahead and click on open. And then you're gonna be right here in the, your file explorer. So right here, as you can see guys in the left, you're gonna find all of the sections. You're gonna find home, gallery, you're gonna find OneDrive and all of the other sections. Go ahead and click on OneDrive and then right click on it. Here, as you can see guys, you can copy it expand it here you're going to find the option to open it in a new tab open a new window pin to quick access pin to start compress the zip file copy as path properties here as you can see guys you're going to find the option to always keep on this device free up some space and here you're going to find the onedrive settings so right here you're going to find view online settings and here you're going to find folder color go ahead and click on settings and then you're going to be able to open this window Right here, as you can see guys, go ahead and click on sync and backup. And then here, as you can see guys, you're gonna find your sync settings. Here, you're gonna find backup important PC folders to OneDrive, backup your desktop documents and pictures folders to OneDrive, so they're protected and available on other devices. Go ahead and click on manage backup. And then right here, as you can see guys, you're gonna be able to turn off all of these options. Make sure you disable all of these you disable documents, pictures, desktop, music, and videos backup. And then once you finish, don't forget to uh, click on save changes. So you can save all of your changes. Once you do that, right here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find these options. Save photos and videos from one de from devices. Save photos and videos from OneDrive when I connect to a camera, phone, or any other device to my PC. Make sure to turn this option off. And then turn also this option off. This option is for saving screenshots you capture to OneDrive. So this is us guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.